Hey, this is John, and welcome to my playthrough of Fallout 4 using the You Only Live Once mod and the Start Me Up mod, as well as some other smaller ones. So, the Start Me Up mod is an alternate start mod that allows you to play as someone other than the sole survivor, the normal protagonist. And they start with a hollow tape that. Li that refers to the kidnapping which we'll play once we get into the game um i've built my character her name is reagan we're playing as a female just because i enjoy the voice dialogue better with the female but uh let's just let's just get going and try to explain and see what this mod's all about you begin to notice that this isn't reality. Is it a dream or something from a memory? This is only a dream. I need to wake up. What is the last thing you remember? I was in the Commonwealth and just stopped to rest. You stir in your sleep, pondering the big questions of life. What makes me special? So this is where we build our character. We're going to call her Reagan. All right, we're going to take our special points here. And I'm going to take perception three for now. Endurance, I want to get seven. Oh, and that's to get adamantium skeleton. This will all become more clear as we pick our unique traits, which is a pretty cool thing about this mod. Charisma four. Let's take four intelligence. Let's take agility. We're going to need this for a sneaky stealth build. And let's just see how the, this build does. Okay, so what are my unique traits? Uh, I guess these go back to like Fallout 3 and New Vegas, even Fallout 1 and 2. You can take up to three of these, and each one has a positive and a negative. So one of the things that's always bugged me about playing Fallout 4 is leveling too fast. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people, but it's something that's always bothered me. So I'm going to take Gifted. You have more innate abilities than most, so you have not spent as much time honing your skills. You gain a permanent plus two to each special stat, but gain experience at half the normal rate. <clears throat> um, you can choose to apply that to your special skills or to your perk chart. We're going to put that in the perk chart, the plus twos. So there's one. I think we're going to take four eyes. While wearing glasses or goggles, you have plus one perception. Without eyewear, you have minus one perception. So we'll take that. And then I think small frame is what we're going to go for the last one. You're not quite as big as other people, but that has never slowed you down. You gain plus two agility, but your limbs are 20% more easily crippled. That's why I want to get adamantium skeleton pretty quick. You can choose to have plus two agility as a permanent status effect or in your specials. We're going to put that as a permanent status effect, so plus two agility. So we're done there. What am I doing with my life? I think this affects like what you start with gear wise. And I'm gonna go with Scout. Someone new to the Commonwealth Scout. We're just gonna role play it as that. Uh, where was I really? This is a tough one. I'm torn for this one between starting at Lonely Chapel or at Egret Tours Marina. I think we're going to try Lonely Chapel. What do I have with me? We're going to play only the essentials. And how much do I know? We're going to start out at level one. Enough, I'm ready to wake up. And let's start the game and 
try to explain more about the you only live once mod and see the start me up mod in action So I do have a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, but some uh, Creator Club content on here. I don't plan on playing through that. But one of them is a backpack, which I do enjoy. So let's see what our loadout is. Let's take a look at our specials on paper. And our perks, four eyes, gifted, and small frame. So for weapons, we start out with a combat knife, which I'm going to put as a favorite in number five, and a bolt action pipe sniper rifle with 27 rounds of 308. Keep that at one. For apparel, dirty army fatigues, that's cool. Strength plus one, agility plus one. And we'll add our backpack which I think is 35 or 25 plus 25 carry weight 25 well just like the start of everything let's just loot what we can toying with going on down and getting that first um, covert ops magazine down here but Maybe we will. Let's just see what else is in here. I think for now we gotta focus on getting food and shelter and a water supply. And before we head out into the world, let's pop in that. Let's take a look at that quest that is based around start me up rumor of a vault search for the vault I've heard a rumor that there's a pre-war vault in this area I should take a look for it if I have the time I think that's all we got let me see if there's anything nope well let's head out Of course, the first question is, do we waste ammo getting food or go up to, we're very close to uh, Sunshine Tidings, which is the double meat magazine, so I think we'll go up there and try to clear it out here at level one. Now this shack up here is a raider shack, but I don't think it spawns unless you actually go into it. We'll find out. This could be a really short, you only live once run. There you go, 12 experience points. Yay! So for those of you who don't know what... um. You Only Live Once is. It's a mod. It's basically a permadeath, no heal mod. Um, you can't have companions. Like I said, there's no healing. No healing radiation. Um, no guaranteed legendary. So everything legendary has to drop out in the wild. You can't purchase like the Overseer's Guardian or quest-given legendaries. I'm sure there's a few more points to it, but we'll get to those as we go. Let's check this out. And we have our first ghoul. And he's dead. 
And another. And he's dead. I didn't notice if it actually gave XP. Three or eight rounds is good. And one of the best magazines in the game if you're playing survival mode. Hell yeah. Permanently collect extra meat from animal kills. Take a look at both. Oh, it's kind of cute. That's Reagan, by the way. I don't think we've seen her yet. Yeah, we'll stick with that for now. Let's keep clearing. So that robot that lives here is harmless. Um, I might use them to draw some enemies into, but that's why my hidden brackets are bouncing around. I hope it's that. I think this is Radroach. Nope, doesn't. I don't think we got anything in here. We do have a floating teddy bear. Let's try to save our good ammo. Tactical, I get four shots at 38. Let's use that up right now. We should be looking at rad roaches. Got it. back and loot this place once we claim the settlement. I just like to break it down right from the build screen. No, I'm not. Well, we got a map update. And we're tired already. I don't know what causes that. Whether it's the only live once mod or start me up, but I got a couple ghouls in this building we're gonna try to take care of. One right there. Dead, nice. This one's hard to hit through the table there, the hitbox. We're going to try to sneak around here. It's amazing that noise didn't wake him up. But thank God he didn't.
look what's this random encounter down here. Doesn't look like anything right now. It looks clear. Let's, let's favorite this pistol. For the record, I've never done a Let's Play video at all. I've played this game a lot, but I've always wanted to do one of these, and it's mostly for my son. So bear with me, if you're still with me. If anybody's watching, <laughs> I don't blame you if you don't. But let's keep on going. We got a rad roach in there. Of course, the hitbox, thank you. For nothing. I don't know if it's just one in here. There's the double meat. And how can we survive in this world without paintbrushes? Last one. I should be vatsing and building a crib, but flip lighters, we love them. Oil. I think we've cleared this. Sequin dress, that's good. Plus two charisma when I need it. Yeah, we're clear. Alright, so I'm going to go around and clean up and scrap everything here and we'll be back. I just find it really boring watching people scrap entire settlements. Alright, we're back. I've done scrap the whole town. And let's, let's just continue with a little bit of inventory maintenance. Now, I don't plan on building this base up all that much, so we may go ahead and just try to carry out as much stuff as we can, which means scrapping from our inventory right into here. So let's just do that real quick. So what I'm doing is dropping these items and we're just going to scrap them right on the floor and then pick up the broken down components from the workshop. one of those beds we picked up or I picked up when just for the time being and make a source of water That just scared me. <laughs> Let's 
go see if we get anything to cook. We should be able to make a couple grilled rad roach. Squirrel bits are good. Low weight. And one grilled rad roach. Somehow that doesn't seem right. Like there were more roaches here. But... Let's see how much water we have. My plan is to go up and find the vault. We all know where it is, but make our way up there. We're still level zero or one. And we're going to take our carrot with us. some of this stuff out. Nope, maybe not that much. Grab that. Oil for sure. should be good. It's not good that we only have one bottle, though. But that's what makes survival so fun. All right, let's uh, let's sleep and start heading north. I take for grape mentats. Let's have a look down here. Oh, we got people down there now. Let's see what we got. to the robot that sunshine tidings yep and hope he <laughs> hope he survives it
check this place out. What do we got over there? Can't tell. Flies. We don't like those. We don't like anything at level one. Rad roaches, maybe, but. I have a feeling there's Meyer lurks down here as well. Intervention note. You've been eating a lot of that food paste from Suffolk High School, okay. I'm not going to read these. Unless you guys want me to. And I'm being quite optimistic with the plural. <laughs> This is nerve-wracking, making a video, but it also is, it's, it's a game I love, so once I get over the nervousness, I think my commentary should be a little better. Alright, I don't know this side of the lake very well. I see a rad barrels down there, we don't want to go near those. I don't remember this. Yeah, let's just keep on moving. I see power lines. Hopefully those are the ones that lead to Abernathy. structure and blood blood bugs are good food well here goes nothing it's still hidden that's impressive Got the pistol just in case there's any rad roaches. Sometimes the bugs mix up, hang out, different pairings. Uh, I saw something glowing. in this game. I don't know this neck of the woods. I usually just cross that bridge. Still don't know it. Where's our power lines? Alright, now I'm starting to get a familiar feel. I think that house over there has got some radiation concerns. I'm going to steer clear for now.
Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. I should be wicked shipping, I think. Let's go tag that place. For the 2 XP or whatever I get. And I don't like the hidden bars creaking like that. Cooking station. This could be ghouls. No. Alright, we're not doing blow flies right now. There's Abernathy. Beautiful. I'm going to go over and tag this, and then we're going to head up to the vault, follow the quest. Because we don't know anything in this character. Steal some potatoes. That's good. They have good stuff. We're not going to steal. Yeah, more bugs. but we can definitely sell them. There's no healing in the you only live once. There's dog meat. We're gonna stick with our plan. Shotgun shells are heavy. I don't use shotguns. Right, we're going to take out some rod roaches. And this is Sanctuary. Welcome to the start of the new game. There we go. Bushes over here. He hasn't spawned yet. Open the vault. We found it. Yay. Right, we're going to take the rest of these rad roaches. 
cook them up and head to the vault. And then another one's gonna come out of that pal right there. <laughs> he throws that can, I love that. traditional star of the game and figure out the story. first time in through the outdoor So from that mat right there. Uh, let's check out our weight situation. Okay, five pounds. I suppose we can come back. This is going to be more about ammo and water though. And the 10 millimeter. Let's see what we can drop in advance. Two of those. back for those though I have a I have a feeling I want to try scrapper perk or yeah anyways here we are in the vault the cryopods I always grab clipboards springs Go find the Soul Survivor's vault just to have a look. There we go. There's Nate. We have no idea who those people are.
let's just hope this is purified. Seems to be. Yay. Fill our bottles. Grab the game Kate, tape. Just because. I'm pretty much a hoarder. How much weight have we got? 10 pounds. I forget how much a 10 millimeter weighs. But hot plates are good. Good components. I don't think there's anything in here. dead Nora you should get fried and ah, we'll take the XP You should not be doing a You Only Live Once run, but what the hell. Alright, there we go. Go get these other two. Yay! We made it all the way to level two. So, there's an audio tape. Let's put that on while we continue clearing. Pod C6 audio log. That was a tape of Kellogg shooting Nate and taking the baby Sean. So now we have a clue. There's the cry later. I could bring dog meat back here and uh, have him grab that, but we're not gonna. One pound. We 
Another 10 millimeter though. I do have a level up, but I'm gonna hold off on that for a minute. I'm assuming most people know this story. <laughs> if not, let me know. Sanctuary. All right, I'm back. There's beautiful sanctuary. Uh, I am going to edit these videos and cut out the load screens, Mike. My computer takes a while on those sometimes. I'm, I've heard it with everybody, but... Um, oh, no. Let's see. We're going to... No. Nope. Carry that back. Desk fans are... Beautiful things with gears and screws. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'll be editing out the load screens. I'll probably, like I did at Sunshine Tidings, cut out when I scrap a town, or anything boring. I will try to keep in footage when we first traverse an area, but if we go across, traveled, you know, places we've been to before, I'm going to probably edit that out. I'll still record in case something happens. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, this is my first time creating a video and doing commentary on... It's a, it's harder to play than I thought while doing that, but... It's been fun. I love this game, and I look forward to it. Um, if you watched this through the end, thank you very much, and we'll see you again soon. Alrighty, bye.